My name is John McGrath, this is John McGrath Travel, and welcome to Zanzibar! <laughs> Welcome to Pajer Beach. This is on the east coast of Zanzibar and it's truly one of the most stunning beaches I've ever been to. It's unique in the fact that when the tide goes out, it's over a kilometre's distance from the actual beachfront right the way out to the coral. Now I haven't had the opportunity to walk that far but as you can see behind me, um, the beachfront is quite far away and I'm going to turn around and you'll see that the beach still goes on and we can walk all the way out for probably at least another half a kilometre. The coral is right in the distance as you can see where the waves are breaking. It really is a beautiful place, although I think we're here in the down season, we're currently, this is the 1st of April, um, and there's not really a lot of people here, so I would recommend you check in when is the most busiest time to visit Zanzibar. Although it's very pleasant, it's nice and cool, there's a beautiful sea breeze, it is a little bit quiet, which is actually the reason why we're going to Nungui. And here I am in Nungui, which is in the very north tip of Zanzibar. The beaches are absolutely stunning here as well. Of course it is, we're in Zanzibar. And the sand is pure white, the sea is pure blue. It really is paradise. And we decided to come back here after spending uh, one day here actually as a day trip. And we decided to leave Pajé because it was very quiet, as I've said before. And here there's just a bit more life, there's more restaurants, there's more people here. It definitely is the most popular part of the island. It's great to be able to travel around Zanzibar and see the different things. But if you're going to come to Zanzibar, for me personally, I would probably recommend coming to Nungui. The beach is beautiful and best of all, we found some excellent restaurants as well, which I'm going to show you too. So on Page Beach there is a restaurant called Oxygen and it's probably one of my favourite places so far that I've found to eat. The quality of the seafood is absolutely fantastic. The tuna steak is to die for and the calamari which is just so fresh is absolutely delicious. So if you are in Page, come to Oxygen because it's amazing. Mmm, so good. So welcome to the Mahali Hotel. This is in Page in Zanzibar, as you all know. And I'm gonna give you a little tour. We're gonna to see what it's all about. It's directly on the beach front, as you can see. Lots of very, very comfortable sunbed chairs here. Our apartment, we're very lucky, is actually the closest one to the beach and the closest to the pool as well. So we've been very fortunate with our room. Now let's go and have a look at the rest of the property. It is quite small. There's a reception area with some ping pong and some foosball. Uh, and that's really about it. There's also a little beach bar over behind these grasses here that you can get some food at. And I'll show you that in a bit as well. Let's see the pool. is quite a small area which is really good because it means that you don't have to swim very far if you're lazy like me <laughs> but it's also uh, a great place to relax there's plenty of sunbeds it's quite a small hotel so it means that it's never really full even though there's quite a lot of people here at the moment you can see that it is nice and quiet so it's definitely worth a dip in the pool it's very clean and yeah what more can i say it's just perfect Jumbo.
So my friend, you can say my shopping in Buddhist guys. I know I had a little look, but I thought what I want now. Okay. You know, listen, listen, listen. No, 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 I've got what I want. I've got what I want. What do you mean? Ooh, he's chasing me, he's ah, chasing me. He's chasing me. <laughs> no, it's okay, I've got it. I'm coming back in a minute anyway. I won't be a sec, okay. So you can't go anywhere without being handed to buy things. And sometimes, you know, you don't mind. So I got this little key ring for a friend. Another little keyring for a friend. Got some bracelets, you know. You're on holiday, you treat yourself. This must be the weirdest place to find cows on the beach. But they are owned by the farmers that are around here. And actually I was talking to the taxi driver uh, on the way up to Nungui where he was telling me that cows are actually quite expensive here. It would cost you over a million shillings to buy a cow. They obviously use it for milk, uh, use it for agriculture to turn over the land and then finally to use for meat. Now a million shillings is quite a lot of money so I was quite interested on in how they get that and believe it or not the government will give them a loan to buy a cow similar to how we would have a loan to buy a car. It's just amazing. Imagine taking out a loan to buy a cow. I'm here at the Baraka Aquarium and you can swim with sea turtles. These sea turtles are actually um, bought by the aquarium from the local fishermen and then they keep them in the aquarium. It's a natural tidal aquarium um, just behind me here. And for the price of $10, uh, 23,000 Tanzanian shillings, you can come and feed them and swim with them and it is really an extraordinary experience. So if you're in Zanzibar, even if you're not in the north near Nungui, um, it's definitely worth taking a taxi ride up here and doing this you'll probably spend about 30 minutes here and it really is incredible swimming with sea turtles it's definitely on my hit list and it's a check for me so yeah excellent woohoo Prison Island isn't just famous for its crystal clear blue waters, but also for this tortoise sanctuary. These were brought in the early 1900s as a gift from the governor of the Seychelles, and they've been here ever since, and it's now a sanctuary for them. You'll see behind me that the huge, like I've never seen anything like it in my life. Uh, I've already fed some, I'm gonna give you some clips on that, but the oldest one here was 196 years old. I mean, that's just unimaginable, I can't believe that, so. Yeah, here's some shots of big tortoises. Well, we took the boat from Prison Island all the way to Nakupenda Beach and this is absolute paradise. Zanzibar, we have 2,900 Zanzibar red colobus monkey, but the half of them in this area. So in this area, we have two kinds of species of monkey. We have Zanzibar red colobus monkey and the blue cycas monkey, or black monkey. But the, the black monkey normally is found everywhere in East Africa. Mm -hmm. You can see in Uganda, Kenya, Tanzania, mainland, everywhere you can see. But the Zanzibar red colobus monkey, we call Zanzibar because it is found in Zanzibar only. 
it is endemic species mm -hmm. and we call red because red color on the back mm -hmm. and we call colobus because of four fingers no thumbs mm -hmm. so that's why we call zanzibar a colobus monkey colobus. so normally they live in groups as a family so the groups has 30 up to 50 monkey so the male one which has strong in a group with a leader mm -hmm. so they eat young leaves flower seeds and unripe fruit zanzibar at colobus monkey is vegetarian so they can't digest sugar, they can't eat banana, mango, they can't mm. eat. But the black monkey, they eat everything. Any day trip in Zanzibar wouldn't be complete without coming to the Jazani forest and seeing the monkeys. Uh, it's about an hour's journey uh, around the rainforest and it costs about 30,000 shillings. It's absolutely beautiful, it's a tropical rainforest and it's definitely worth seeing if you've never been in a rainforest before. You get a local guide to tell you all about the different trees, vegetation and best of all, you get to see the monkeys! <laughs> So here I am at the third and final hotel of the week and we are here at the Siri Beach Lodge which is in Nungui. It's absolutely stunning. It's a small uh, guest lodge with quite simple rooms but very very well priced and the breakfast is absolutely delicious. So what more could you want? We're directly on the beach, we've got beautiful restaurants and places right next to us and to be quite honest with you for our final three nights of our holiday I'm absolutely over the moon. Uh, with what we've got here so have a little look around and maybe if you're in Nungri you might want to stay here too. Welcome to Nuemba Island and this is an island which is just on the northern tip of Zanzibar. Behind me you can see it and it's actually owned by Bill Gates. Now the snorkeling here is absolutely fantastic as well as the amount of little jellyfish which give you a little sting but it's not too bad. Now we actually managed to get here, the four of us, on a private tour from Nungui which was $35 each for four of us which was a great deal. If you're in Nungui, I think it's called Starfish Tours. So you can go and have a look there and get your deal there how we did. It's absolutely beautiful, it's stunning, it really is paradise. The, we've seen parrot fish, we've seen flying fish and we even got to see dolphins. Check it out. La, 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 la.
Well, tonight is the very last night in Zanzibar and I keep using the same word, paradise, but it really truly is. And I am a little bit sad about going home, but it's all good because I am going back to Dubai after all. However, there's something about Zanzibar that just, I know will stay with me. It's that island feeling, that feeling of sunsets and smells of barbecued food and pristine water and incredible snorkeling. The wildlife has been amazing. Stone Town had so much culture. I'm definitely gonna miss being here. But that just means that I have an excuse to come back and also give you a huge recommendation to visit Zanzibar yourself as well. So if you can, get yourself here and taste a bit of Zanzibar. Hakuna Matata, see you soon.